Hi, I'm Dorothy Jacks, your Palm Beach County property appraiser. The work of my office is to appraise the taxable value of properties in Palm Beach County. And that can be an interesting challenge when the properties are unique, historic, or multifaceted. I wanted to highlight some of these properties and touch on their taxable value, but also talk about the value that they bring to our community. I hope you find them as fascinating as I do. I'm the director of the Moore County Museum and Japanese Gardens. We have nearly 200 acres of property here in addition to our museums and we have six distinct, distinct period gardens. So I have the privilege of overseeing the entire institution and managing a very strategic relationship because we are owned and operated by Palm Beach County and we have a nonprofit arm that works in conjunction to create this very successful blended institution. So the county is the owner operator and Palm Beach County was gifted the 200 acres by George Murakami. And once accepted, they made a plan to create our original museum, the Yamanakan. We've grown from there. In 1993, we developed this main museum that we're in right now. In 1999, we broke ground on six distinct period gardens um, to enhance the experience. We important part of history for Palm Beach County is that there was a Japanese agricultural colony established in the early 20th century and it was part of the growth and development of this region that is unique and its lasting legacy is due great part to George Morikami. George Morikami was a very uh, humble individual. He did not have many of his own belongings, let alone his own personal collection of art. His vision of this property as a gift was to share it mostly as a gathering place, as a place where families could picnic and simply enjoy the beautiful land that he had acquired and he himself enjoyed and had worked over so many years. When we started to acquire objects, mostly through donation and some purchase, we did so with a mission to focus on works made by Japanese nationals or Japanese Americans. So that, that is a, a very uh, specified focus or scope of our collection. Growing from a quiet, little, sleepy Yamatakan into the institution that we've grown to today has been very rewarding. Um, and not just the attendance figures, but the depth and the level of our exhibitions and our programs and being able to elevate the level of educational programs, the film series, being able to enhance and expand the overall visit. Many people make the Murakami a staycation destination. They come here because they can receive not only the experience of feeling like I'm visiting Japan, but they can stroll the gardens, they can visit the galleries, they can take classes and programs, they can come to a special event. So people really make this a destination experience, which also translates for our community because people will come from other areas and then spend the night in our community.